Spirits and Power People, BB48, my whole chap, what's going on and all that? It's your brother. Yo, it's your brother born, FOG Refugee. But I wanted to show y'all something real quick. I mean, I ain't nothing else to do. It's early. But I want to show y'all this is um Slave Merchants, right? It's from this book right here, The Slave Trade. The Story of the Atlantic Slave Trade, 1440, 1870 by Hugh Thomas. All right, oh, and and the inside, they, you know, they got photographs and everything. They got like photo pages, and so this is photo pages of the slave merchants. And I'm gonna, it started off here though. It started off here with the kings and princes of the slave trade, but we go there, and then they have another title that says slave merchants, and you can see Robert Rich. You know what I'm saying? Uh, John Blunt. You know what I mean? Uh, Humphrey Maurice, Thomas Goliath, Henry Lawrence. You see a bunch of uh, European stock folk. We go to this page, you see another one, Lemonstein. You know what I mean? You got just this shadow like figure. Right. Lopez, the only important Jewish slave trader in the Anglo-Saxon world. <laughs> that what they say. That what they say. You don't trust them though. But um, Antoine Welsh will convey ten thousand slaves from Angola to the Americas. Bonnie Price and Bonnie Prince Charles to Scotland. Pierre Paul Norat, an active slave trader of, of Bordeaux, who was fused to purge. Because he was a Protestant. Well, you know, they had all type of... Don't trust this right here, though. Don't trust that little thing right there. But we go to the next page. We have, you know, you got another another um, European stock. Julian, Julian Zuleta of Havana. But we get over here. And this is where... There's still slave merchants. But look at this. This is why... That woman king uh uh movie and the, the homies and depicting the, the homies to the Ameri to the Africans in America is a good thing was wrong. Because see, this is it. King Tegisable of the homie who made two hundred and fifty thousand a year from selling Africans about seventeen fifty, far more than any English duke received as income. Look at look, see that's the portrait. That's the portrait. Uh uh, and so, I just wanted to show y'all that this weird, this is, they put the homies in the same light with the rest of the slave merchants. And then you see, you see, this is King Alvar the Congo, who provided slaves to the Portuguese. Uh-huh. Circa 1686. Now, we go on, right? Because the King of Benin, the Benin was one of these uh, places that, once they king died, then they got into the slave trade. See, because, you know, you read here, the king of Benin, circa 1686, whose ancestors, ref whose ancestors refused to sell men, but his descendants sold everyone. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the people who preceded him wouldn't sell nobody, and they sold them all. Then we got uh, Francisco Felix de Souza, a Brazilian who dominated the slave trade. In Dahomey in the eighteen forties, you know what I mean? These some slave, slave captains, captains of boats and stuff like that. You know what I mean? This uh, this is a Portuguese trader. This right here is a depiction of a Port Portuguese trader in Benin, circa fifteen hundred, who obtained five slaves for a horse. So that's what this was about. But you see, you got these captains. John Newton, the slave captain, wrote how sweet the name of Jesus sounds. And um, Hugh Crow from Liverpool, one of the thousand captains from there who sailed for Africa to obtain slaves. You know, um, so I just wanted to put that in there. But really, to, to show that, yeah, you know, a lot of times in America, what they would do is they would take, they would take, the picture of those who did us wrong and try to promote them to us as though it's good. And it really distorts history. Um, 
I don't I don't respect that at all. You know what I mean? And uh, um, when we want to get back, everybody oh, everybody oh. But this is also to disprove the uh, nonsense that black people were just somehow magically already here before we came from Africa. Peace.